What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. There is a whole bunch of content on FIFA today. Uh, there is guaranteed team of the season, a league and loss packs and an 85 plus player pick pack. We're going to jump on the share plays of some viewers and uh, open whatever content they've got there for us today. I know some of the guys have got some icon packs as well. So you are going to have an assortment of all good things FIFA today, which is very, very nice. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. As you just saw on the screen right there, and I'll pop it up again. If you want any of your foot card, check out yourfootcard.com. Use code NEPO at checkout for your custom designed ultimate team cards. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant stuff. You know, if you've got a birthday or a special event coming up for someone who's football mad, it's really, really good for you. And of course, if you want any of the uh, merchandise, check out prestige26.com prestige26.com check out my own merch line always nice always always nice so we are starting off with the bundesliga it's a manuel neuer what's really sad about that is i don't think we're going to be able to open the other packs because that's almost definitely going to be a duplicate it is so my man's going to have to go and deal with that and then we can come back and open that let's move on to the next account that is a quality team some of the best players in the game there let's see what has my man got I'm 83 is a 10k right now. Yep. Okay. So it looks like we've got some items to deal with. So let's let's do a player pick. Do a player pick, an Instagram player pick. So the 85 plus player picks are there, guys. I'm currently streaming over on fb.gg slash nepentez. You want to come and watch me open some of these for the viewers? Then get involved, swipe up to get involved. Gulashi, search Nabri. Andre Silva, the beast. Not a beast, is he, though? He's just not. Just not the beast, is he? And then, and then, and no, and then. Bundesliga team of the season. I, this is Andre Silva again. You could just know. You know? You just know. Portuguese. Oh, it's Haaland. Let's go. Erling, my main man. Let's go. What a card. What a card. Cringe, says guy watching somebody else play video game. Oh, I'm not judging. I'm just saying. I'm just putting out facts. Let's go, man. Haaland's a beast, mate. Three star, three star. Out there with the best of them. Otherwise, an absolutely brilliant card. Love that. Big fan of that. Here we go. All right, Liganos, team of the season player. On. Hey, what's up, Dogs Day? How you doing, man? Good luck on your pack, pal. Walk out. Love that. Next up. Portugal. Sidema. Well, we're two for two with uh, Rahinias. No, not Rahinia. Palhinia. Pol Polhinia. And then Bundesliga Tots. Hey, we we've had the... Uh, so now you're violating... No, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm not judging, right? I'm just saying... But he was judging. And that's just not very nice, is it? German. Centre mid. Right back. It's Baku, isn't it? Oh. Baku simulator is back. Ooh. Oh, dear. All right. Lewandowski, first owner. Very nice. We love that. We do love that. My man's doing a little bit of UCL grinding. Got to respect that as well, haven't we? And here we go. Liganos team of the season player. Psych, 85 plus player pick pack. Oh, Andre Silva. <laughs> oh, Andre Silva. Uh, what's his name? Halhinia and Baku is all we're going to see. If I have an, a, a set where we literally get Andre Silva, Rafinia, no, Palhinia, and Baku as the three, that, that ends the video, all right? However, Grimaldo is actually all right. He is one of the better ones that you can get from the Liganos Tots. Quality card at that as well. And obviously very easy to link being Spanish. Um, but let's uh, let's open the Bundes guaranteed. Come on. German. Right back. back. Cam Muller. Oh, Thomas Muller's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's go. I, I actually rate him. I really want to pack him myself. I think he'd be a lot of fun to play with. I think he's got some uh, some good some good qualities about himself. But wouldn't it be nice to like 
open up the player pick pack and get like I don't know Goretzka and then do the guaranteed and get Pedro Goncalves and then do the other guaranteed and get like Sancho or something you know wouldn't that just be cool here we go three blues in one pack nope nope that beats her is it he's actually got a decent card I don't know how he gets so much disrespect he's worth almost nothing comparatively to most other cards you never see him in people's teams and he is decent he's really decent next up here we go come on portugal brazil left mid all right that's very very good we have hit ourselves an otavio he's worth about i think he's the second most expensive player isn't he yes he is Two hundred thousand coins very very nice indeed and a quality card as well. So this has actually been a couple of really nice dubs so far. Uh, Sabitza first. Otavio second. And... Third. Poland. Striker. Lewandowski. France. Good start. Ziv. Wolfsburg. It's Lacroix. Lacroix. <laughs> Less, that's actually good. That was a good set of players. I think is Lacroix still worth a lot? Yes, he is. He's still at 400k. That's a really, really nice set of players, that is. He is a brilliant card, isn't he? Great passing. Very good dribbling for a centre-back. Insane defending and physical and insane pace. He is just a quality card. Quality. All right, my man had two, two 85 player picks. I see right through. I'll do what I can, mate, yeah. Oh, yeah, two. 85 plus player picks. Bomb. Here's one. Baku. Don't do it, EA. Don't do it. Number two. Oh, three. Can't be bad. Can't, bring, invite me back right now. No, the ship. The, come on, man. There was three team of the seasons there. It can't possibly be all bad, right? The worst it could be is like Baku... Neuer and the striker together or something. He wants Alfonso Davies. Take him. Take him. There you go. Alfonso Davies. Happy days. Very nice. Send them into the club. And let's open this guaranteed pack. Where'd all your coins go, Mike? Player picks. Five player picks. Let's go. Bomb. Good start, though, to be fair. You start low. Can't get any worse, technically. It's the same, but it's not worse. And it still can't get any worse, literally. See? Now it's better. Corona in the uh, pack. Oh, team of the season! Noya! Let's go! Trebion from an 81 plus player pick pack. See? It couldn't have got worse. Oh, it got. Ooh, Casemiro. And then a Bundesliga player, but just don't be Noya. I mean, there is a Noya there. So we'll take a Kingsley Coman, and that is a good pick. You don't really see him much. He's got three-star weak foot, mind you, and terrible work rates. But that's good. That's good. Coman and Neuer from those picks. You don't mind that at all. And then, and then. Liga Nos team of the season player. Can't technically get worse, but it's the same five times over. Yeah. Ooh. Inform. Walk out. Portuguese. Spanish. Left back. Right wing back. Ugh. It's not what you want to see, is it? He is a full-on stinker, isn't he? Pedro Porro. What's his actual name? Pedro Antonio Porro Soceda. He would, he would, <laughs> he would be so much well received, so much more well received, if he changed his name from Pedro Porro to Saucy Pedro. Take the Saucy from Soceda and Pedro, and that's it. Saucy Pedro. That's his new name, and that's a much better name. People would love that. People would love him if he was called Saucy Pedro. That would be much better. Anyway, moving on. Bundesliga guaranteed team of the season pack. is going to be Spain. Left wing back is Angelino. It's a duplicate Angelino. 40 yard chip. That's what's up. Oh, that's not a bad little... Uh, you know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Bundesliga tots player. Some items to deal with. Player pick pack. 
Team of the season, Angelino. At least it's the team of the season, isn't it? And then let's do the guaranteed team of the season pack and then the five player 83 plus pack. Yeah. He was offside and VAR didn't give it because they thought Bruno touched it. Prem have given this hair the assist. Portuguese. Striker. Of course. <sighs> Andre Silva. Andre Silva. Andre Silva. Andre. And then 83 plus Bundesliga five player pack. Come on here, man. No, it's not even the team of the season. There's a lot of content and it is hype and people do get mad excited and stuff. But at the same time, um, at the same time, there isn't enough in the menus for grinders. Does that makes sense. Like, like we're seeing a situation right now where 83s are like mad expensive because of all these SBCs, right? And that's that is a good thing. But there needs to be a balance. And if you could gain and grind, get cards from gameplay or menus in a reasonable fashion to be able to complete this content, that would be fine. But because you can't, it leaves another imbalance within this game where people are like, look, I love all this content and stuff. I just can't do it. Portugal! Sudama. Don't do it. Don't do it. If, oh, don't do it. On foot being the cheapest 86s are all in forms. How wild is that? Come on. Don't do it, EA. Don't do it. Hey, it's Hummels. My main man, Mats. Bit slow, isn't he? But otherwise... All right. Winkel. <laughs> right. Player pick pack. Let's go. Come on. Team of the seasons. Andre Silva. All right, there's Andre Silva. So, you know, I'm, I'm not even kidding, guys. If we get the the deathly trinity, if this is uh, Palhinia, untradeable. Yeah, and the, but the, the, here's, here's again where the problem is, though, right? Not problem, but here's where, like, the, the imbalance comes from. Because it's not a problem. CDM. Ooh, right mid. Let's go. That's not bad. It's uh, Rafa. One of the better ones, for sure. Um, that's a good one. Um, yeah, it, like, let's say it took you 30 minutes to do the um, Sud grind. So it took you 30 minutes to get one untradeable walkout. That's just not good value for time. It's not. Think how many SBCs there are that you might want to do right now. Another Muller. Let's go. That's nice. Hey, these haven't been awful, have they? They haven't been insane, insane, but they have not been awful. All right, here we go. Can we avoid the Holy Trinity yet again? Oh, yeah. All right, we'll take a Sabitza. We're going to have to skip pack the packs, though, because the connection is low. They're pushing everyone to save time by buying FIFA points and opening packs because people are conditioned to expect immediate rewards. Yeah, I, I don't even mind, like, I, d I don't mind generally. I, l I love the amount of content. I'm really not complaining about the amount of content. And there is Palhinia. There is the ability to grind this game. But there is also got to be a, a fair expectation of how much time you spend on the game versus what you get back. And right now, oh, we got two of the three. We're saved. Um... Right now, there just isn't enough. But, but, but there isn't enough there for people to not have to spend eight to ten hours on the game a day to be able to complete everything. And maybe that is EA's plan. Maybe they don't want everybody to complete everything. Maybe they want people to just pick and choose what they want. And the people that do want to complete everything either have to be an insane hardcore grinder or somebody who puts money on the game. And if that's their plan, then they have nailed it on the head. Fair enough. But um, like for, for a few of you guys watching on stream now, and I'm sure for a lot of you guys watching uh, on the video right now, right? I can imagine. 
I can imagine that there is so much that you are overwhelmed and, and it almost makes you unsure to do anything because you don't know if something else might come tomorrow. And I, th again, I need to clarify because I know people will take this out of context. I'm not complaining about the amount of content. I love the amount of content, right? I, I'm so happy with what EA are doing right here. Baku is one. Um, it, it's just a case of, again, finding that balance. You know what I mean? Finding that balance. There's so many good cards, it's hard to know who to do. Next week, there could be even even better SBC, or maybe not. I like to complete most best, most player SBCs, but it's quite hard at the moment. Yeah, and that, that's exactly it. Like, you don't know what's coming tomorrow or the next day now because they're giving so much quality content. Noya, okay, a 95's all right. Um, but if you're, if you're the sort of person that can only afford like an hour or so a day on this game, none of this content is really for you. Because you, you just can't like... Um, you can't like uh, it's, it's just it's li literally just too much choice and it, and it is it is it is a good thing I'd rather have this than have nothing right this is certainly a, a good problem to have but it has exposed essentially another flaw within the game uh, economy that when there is an unbelievable amount of SBCs there's not a very good way to be able to grind to get them done. Now, somebody in the chat said, what would I propose? So for me, my mind always goes to the milestone section or to gameplay in general, right? There just needs to be more ways to earn packs and cards via gameplay. There needs to be. Ooh, to, ooh La Croix, my guy. We've seen him twice now today. Love that, love that. Um, yeah, for me, there just needs to be more ways to earn players and packs via gameplay. Because that way, because listen, if you spend hours and hours and hours and hours grinding menus to get players that you now don't have time to play with because you've spent all your time on the menu, what what's going to happen, right? Um, but if you're actually able to take these players, what's a Madu? Is that Alhinia again? It is. Um... If you're able to take these players, go into gameplay, go and earn more players and more packs via gameplay from it, perfect. But one thing that we've obviously kind of stumbled upon this year is that EA have on purpose limited you with the amount of content you can earn via gameplay. There is no limit with the amount of content you can earn via menus and all, no. Oh, it's not, it's, it's Coman, very nice. That was all right, a couple of good players there again. But yeah, in champs, you're limited with what you can earn. In rivals, you're limited with what you can earn. In um, squad battles, you're limited in what you can earn. And it would just be nice if you weren't limited. You know, if if there was a way that they could make it balanced to be able to earn players and earn packs via gameplay, it would just be better. You know, whether that's more milestones, um, in terms of the milestones for packs, you know, like we had the silver sensations. What about bronze sensations? What about gold sensations? What about team of the season? What about what about tremendous team of the seasons? Where if you score 10, 50, 100 and 1,000 goals with team of the season players, you get packs. If you win 5, 10, 25, 50, 100 games with minimum seven team of the season players in your squad, you get packs. Boom, now all of a sudden we're getting rewarded for more and more gameplay. Similarly, why not have a tremendous team of the season milestone where you get team of the season rewards at the end of it? So you've got a reason and somewhere to play with these, you know? Um, and, and so, it, it, like, as I say, like, I, 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 I don't want this to be misinterpreted as, oh no, he's complaining because I'm not complaining about the volume of content. For me personally, it's brilliant. I'm going to be able to do all of it. I'll be able to complete every SBC. I'll be able to open countless packs. Pack loads of good team of the seasons. Ooh, centre mid. It's uh, Sergio Oliveira, isn't it? He, he's got a good card, man. He's, he's all right. He's good for a box to box. Um, and like you, you know, like for me, it, it's great. But seeing a lot of people in my chat just not know what to do, it's it's just sad because it's like, hey, you can't do it all. And in a way, I do like that because it allows the exclusivity. Like, okay, you can only afford to do one of the showdown cards, right? Harland again. That's the second time. Let's go, man. That's really, really good. 
Gary says, I agree. A few months back, I started looking at the SBCs available now. I would have looked forward to the league SBC grind for a few days and comfortably got all the players available. Now the packs just aren't returning enough to do that. As you say, probably by EA's design. And it probably is by EA's design, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, it's a bit sad, I suppose, to see. Um, it's a bit sad to see so many people just not knowing and, and as i say in a way i suppose that there is there is a quality to that as well because it means that people will pick and choose what's there which will give exclusivity to some items however what people like if you could only do one of the showdown cards and you're a sweat more than likely you're going to do zagadu because gray just won't get into your team right which means People will end up pigeonholing themselves into doing just the overpowered and cheapest content. And that's not necessarily the best thing. Improve advanced SBCs and milestones would help big time. Yeah, it would. Yeah, there, 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 there could be a whole bunch of, of stuff that they do um, to balance it. But with that being said, I like the amount of content we've had here. It is just nuts to think right now. The 83 rated. Damn, City were already beating Brighton. Gunda 1 with another goal. More like Gunda 2, am I right? <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, the price points of low tier players are so expensive. But the Liga Nos guaranteed, which is just an 83 rated squad with only 40 chemistry, is almost 50,000 coins. That's mad. Right, I don't think we're going to be able to uh, open my man's packs here. Hey, Andre Silva. I think you have to do away with coins per match. Yeah, the, 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 the pack per match system would be way better. And I don't, I don't necessarily think like a, a system where you get one rare per game like you used to do in the World Cup mode is, is right because it's not enough in my opinion. Go on, center forward. Nope, it's uh, it's my man again. Um, but imagine having like, just like a mini, literally like a mini system of whether or not it's squad battles or what difficulty, right? But you, you, like, and I'm just spitballing here. We could absolutely have, um, go on, center mid, center back, Hummels again. Yeah, fair enough. I'm, I'm literally just spitballing here. I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm sure there's a flaw in what I'm about to say. I'm sure there'll be a hole here, right? But let's say five games. Let's say over a five game period, no matter what, it's um all team of season is pack and eighty five. Let's say uh, no matter what over five games, if you win, let's let's say it just starts on a counter, zero. You win a game, you get a rare gold. You win a second game, you get two rare golds. You win a third game, you get three. You win a fourth game, you get four. You win a fifth game, you get five. So if you win five games in a row, you'll essentially come away with, what's that, like 15 rare gold players. All right, that's cool for five games. And then it resets and it goes back to your win being win number one again. So the sixth, the technical sixth win goes back to one player. If at any point you draw, it like holds. So you win you get one, you win again, you get two, you draw, you get two, you draw, you get two, you win, you get three. Boom. Now you've, you know, for a two win, sorry, three win, two draw system, you've got, um, you've got however many player, like rare goals that will be. And then if you lose, it goes back to the start. So if you win one, you get one, you win a second, you get two, you then lose, you go back and the next win will be worth one, right? Now, there would be some holes in that. I don't think that would make it sweatier because it's for one rare gold or two rare golds and you don't know who's on what kind of win streak or anything. And if it can be done in any game mode, whether that's friendlies or squad battles or draft or champs or rivals, and it's just an added bonus, it would... Alfonso Davies, very nice. Love that from a player pick pack. It would just be a way to get more into the clubs of people that play the actual game more, which is what I think is needed, you know? Um, because for menu grinders and for spenders, there's everything already. Right wing. Oh no, Riverver. Is that... It is. It's Saucy Pedro. There you go. Um, 
and I'm sure, like, I'm sure there's there's problems with what I've suggested there and things I haven't thought about that would be an issue in in the meantime as well. But something like that would be really, really cool, in my opinion. Yeah, something like the triple threat stuff for, for NBA 2K. Wait, what was that? Byron? German? I don't know what some of them is. Oh, Joshua Kimmich. Let's go. That is the first time I've seen him come out of a pack all week. That is the first time I've seen him come out of a pack all week. If you're on a four-win streak, surely you play sweaty to get a fifth win so you don't have to start again. No, no, but you start again regardless, right? After five, it goes back to one. And, and it's it's a reward for, for people that play the game more. You know what I mean? That's really nice, that Joshua Kimmich, man. Right, this is going to be the last account of the day. I'd be interested to hear what people on the video have to say as well. Um, but it's, it's just, as I say, for me, it's one of those things where it's like, there needs to be a way, there needs to be a way to benefit people that play the game more. Because just as a, as a kind of, as a way to round off the conversation, right? Somebody who spends an hour opening packs with FIFA points will generate more income and revenue on FIFA than somebody who spends an hour anywhere else in the game. That's fine. That's what FIFA points are there for. That's how EA make money. That's one thing or another, right? But if you spend one hour in the menus, you will have considerably, considerably more than if you spend one hour um, in gameplay, right? And that includes and takes into consideration rewards rewards for like let's say you play three champs games that's your one hour done right there you get some rivals content for that as well you also get some objectives done for that as well but you still won't get anywhere near the volume of content from somebody that spent one hour in the menus and and right now it's like it's like a 90 10 split you get so so much more value out of menus than you do out of gameplay they just need to bring that down you know they just need to bring it even if it was 80 20 or 70 30 way better but at the moment it's up here and we just want it here i, I want to be able to enjoy the game and, and get as much and be rewarded as much via gameplay than via um menus or as via menus you know i don't know what his pack was this guy said he had everything but he didn't so we'll, we'll go on to yours uh We'll go on to yours, uh, Ahmad, at the end. So we get Angelino there. So we'll have one more account. Maybe some coins and a bit of XP. Yeah, and, and maybe a little... Well, and, and that's that's the problem. Oh, you've got an Icon Moments pack as well. That's the problem as well with the limit on gameplay rewards. Because if you could just keep playing Rivals and playing and playing and playing and get more and more and more, that would be good as well. Oh, three. Oh, Sancho! Let's go! That is the first time I've seen Kimmich and the first time I've seen Sancho. I assume you're going to want Jaden Sancho. Because why wouldn't you? Perfect links to Bellingham. Kimmich is worth 600 and some odd K. And Sancho is worth 2.9 million. Yeah, there's no way you want anyone other than Sancho there. That is fantastic. Three team of the seasons there. That is class, man. Let's go. League and NOS team of the season player. What a way to end it. What a great, let's get three bangers. Come on. Let's get bangers to end it. Come on. Portuguese. Send it forward. Oh, it's my main man. Oh, yeah. It's, Sa it's Saucy Pedro. Saucy Pedro with the uh, coming out. He's awful, isn't he? Forty Pedro, there you are, pal. Go on. And then the Bundesliga team of the season player. Go on. Give us another big one. Ireland, Lewa. I haven't seen Lewa yet. German, Senemid. Goalkeeper Neuer. I think I've actually packed everybody now. Bar Lewandowski. Yeah, I have. Not for me personally, but just in general, for you guys and for me. I have packed every single player apart from Lewa. There's a Manuel Neuer going in there. And then an Icon Moments pack. 
to end the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, you want to drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. My guy. France, good start. Cam, great start. It has to be, Z uh, not Zidane. Cantona. It's Zidane, let's go. Hey, this guy. That's some cheese. Imagine Sancho, Zidane. Who was the other guy? Neuer. Oh, that's big. That is very, very nice. How much is Zidane worth? Oh, 6.8 million coins. That is absolutely fantastic what a way to end off today's video if you guys enjoyed it be sure to leave a like rating comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace